Today we're going to talk about creating threads for 3D printing using Fusion 360. That sounds like something you want to learn. Stick around. All right, jumping right in. We are going to be creating this can koozie by doing some simple extrudes and then adding some threads. So this is the easiest way I've found to make any sort of container with threads. So starting with a simple sketch on the your uh, top plane here, I'm going to create a few different circles. Uh, the first circle that I'm going to create is going to be 67 millimeters. And then I'm going to offset this a couple times to make this make sense. So the next one is going to be a six millimeter offset. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna grab it one more time. I'm gonna do a three millimeter offset. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this one more time and do a negative three millimeter offset and say, okay. So here are all the thing, the different sections that I need to extrude. And this gets a little confusing, I understand. Hopefully if you stick with me, it'll, it'll make really good sense here in a second. Okay, so starting with an extrude, I'm gonna grab all of the parts here, because I need all of them. And I'm gonna pull this down 106, so minus 106.5. This is a very particular number. You'll see why here in just a second. Um, make sure that says 0.5 and say, okay. Now I need to turn our sketch back on and I need to shell out the inside of this. And so I'm gonna use another extrude and come down. to, uh, I need, I need about three millimeters on the bottom. So 103.5 and we need to make that a negative. Just double check, make sure that looks pretty good. Yeah, looks good. And say, okay. So there is the basis of our bottom. Now we do need to add one little part here to give it to, to, to allow the top and bottom to connect. And I need to select this ring right here. And we're going to extrude this up 10 millimeters. And it will look something like this. Let's say, okay, so here is our koozies base that we're going to be creating. Now we're going to jump in and add the top. And the top's going to be very similar to what we just did. So I'm going to turn this body off, turn our sketch back on and I'm going to click and drag uh, a few of these with an extrude. So I want the outer shell, the inner shell, and this one. I'm gonna keep this um, there. I don't need this for this, this part. And I'm gonna come up uh, 15 millimeters and say, okay. So now I've got this section here. This is our lid and this is what it looks like. But if you remember from the base, there's a few things I need to do. So I'm gonna to jump to the bottom and I am going to do some simple extrusions. And this is gonna be the outside of our can koozie. Uh, this section is where the base actually fits in. And so we are gonna move these up 10.5 millimeters. And I like to give myself just a little bit of space. It's not necessary if you feel like your printer is gonna do a really good job. You can do more. Uh, I just like to make sure that the, the actual lid and body fit down together. So we're going to do a simple cut. And then I'm going to keep this inside one. I may need this later. I may not, depending on how this ends up uh, flowing. So I just keep that for uh, just in case if I need it later. Okay, so now if I turn on both our top and bottom, we're going to give ourselves a little bit better view here. We're going to select the front. I want to make sure this is working. So I need to quickly uh, do what we call a section analysis. And it doesn't matter which panel you select, just say OK. And I'm going to rotate this. And what I want to see is that there is a nice gap overlap and that little gap that I left myself right there. So all that looks really good. So the next step, I'm going to turn off our top. And I'm gonna actually turn off this analysis as well. 
and creating threads is actually really easy, but it's a little bit of trial and error. Luckily, I've done some of that for you, and hopefully your print settings will allow this to print really well. It does a really good job on mine, um, so that's what I'm going to run with. So for this, uh, this is a pretty standard setting that I use is 75, but basically I can jump out to 76, and it's going to change how many threads that I can add here. Um, for the most part, if I remember right, I, I really do want this to be about 75, though. And I'm going to lower this down to three. I want a few extra threads. Uh, this will make sense here in just a uh, minute when we do the top. And that's that's really all I have to do. Make sure they're both going to be right-handed. And I always, when you first do this, if you've never done threads before, you're going to have to uncheck this model box right here. And say, okay. And there is the threads for the bottom. Now, the next step, we are going to turn the bottom off and turn our lid on and I want to jump to the inside of this lid and do basically the exact same steps that we did. I'm going to grab the threads, select this section here, make sure it's 75, 75.3. Uh, all of this should be the same because I had this remember size checked here and all I need to do at this point is say okay. At this point if you were to 3D print this and so I'll put this top and bottom and we'll turn on our section analysis. If you were to 3D print this, here is what it would look like. Chances are this would not actually work because of the tolerances that we have. This is basically, they're gonna to be touching and you're gonna get a lot of friction and a lot of rubbing as you try to tighten these threads down just because of how your 3D printer is. Uh, if we were milling this or using a CNC machine, it'd be, a little bit different, we have a little bit better tolerances there. So because of that, uh, I'm gonna turn off our, our base and I'm gonna turn on this top section and we're gonna actually just kind of push this back a little bit to give us some more room. So the easiest way that I've found to do that is stay in your section analysis and you have to have a little bit of trust here. I know if you've never done that, it kind of gets a little bit um, frustrating. So I'm going to select all of these faces and there is a bunch of them that we need to select. So I'll click the first one and then hold shift and I'm going to try to select every one of these faces and you may have to zoom in to make sure that you get them all as well as do just like a quick adjust and it looks like I've got that whole section. I don't want to grab this. I just want all of these faces for where those threads are. And we're going to do a simple press pull and just push those back a little bit. We want to push these into here and give it a little bit more breathing room. So I'm going to select the distance of minus 0.3 millimeters and say, okay. And that seems to be enough for my specific printer. If your printer is a little bit different, you may want to change those threads and change uh, what that those tolerances are. This is going to be a little bit trial and error. I know this is going to work for the Bamboo P1S that I'm using. So I am really confident in how these threads are. Now, if I want to make sure that the, the threads actually work, I can just do a command. I'm going to zoom in right here and do a command Z and you'll see a move and a command Y to put them back. So I know that they definitely moved at this point. So I am going to turn back on our bottom, jump back to the back, and you'll see now I have a nice clean tolerance gap that I can work with with these threads. And I am really confident this is going to turn out pretty good for, for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so that's it with the threads. The next couple steps, if you're following along, is we're going to do some really simple uh, cleanup for this. And then I'm going to show you something fun that I added. Uh, right before I started this, the, so we can kind of see how this is going to work. So the first step is to do a chamfer, and I'm going to do the top, and I'm going to do the bottom at three millimeters. Just kind of clean it up a little bit, make it look less bulky, say okay. And then I'm also going to add a little fillet on this one, because I don't want it to be, I want it to be a little more rounded. Uh, I know some someone's going to hear is going to leave me a comment that says, hey, that kind of defeated the purpose of the chamfer, but uh, I want it to look a little bit clean. So 2.5 is all we're going to go there. 
Uh, printer should be able to handle that. Now, if you remember I said we're going to do something kind of fun, I actually created a rough sketch of a um, soda can that I've got in here. And I actually designed this around that soda can. So you'll see we have our gap here. We've got a little bit here and a little bit in here. It all looks pretty good, actually. Um, looks like we've got a little bit of room, so it'll fit and have some tolerance for basically any type of cans. I know they all seem like they're exactly the same size, but they just are not quite that. So here is what it looks like. Now I want to add in one more chamfer and I'm going to select this one here and just kind of set this in a little bit just to give us a little more room. We'll maybe go to two there and say, okay. And at this point I am done with this koozie. So let's turn off this analysis so we can see what this looks like and see how everything goes. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Please uh, give me a like. Don't be afraid to share this with anybody. It only helps the channel. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.